All right, guys, so uh, Fulo coming to you with another commentary. Um, Yeah, man, all I got to say is really like there's just like a moral decadence of society. Basically, I've said it before. I said it again. And um, I guess you can say this society that we're living in right now, you can call it like Rome. You know, like ancient Rome was just like a place of debauchery and pretty much anything went. Um, I mean, honestly, like when people say Rome wasn't built in the day, you know, the reason why they say that is for the simple fact that, you know, um, one of the underlying reasons they say that is because like, the Romans had to conquer a lot of people. And then in addition to conquer those people, they had to like influence those people ideology, like with their ideology wise. And although people, they proclaim to be Roman Catholic and things like that. When you watch like shows about Rome and things like that, like when you watch shows on TV and stuff like that, they just really show like, you know, just like a, like a, like just giving into everything, you know, giving into whatever your, basically your body wants, your whims, basically. And unfortunately, the modern Western woman has done that, you know, and due to that, you know, due to the modern Western woman doing that, it compels men to do the same thing only to their detriment, you know what I mean? Like, that's the only problem. Like, when they do things like that, it's just like, it's, it's to their detriment that they do these things. But, I mean, I'm not saying that all, like, fathers should be in custody of their kids, but I think, like, a majority of fathers should be in custody of their kids. Like, I think that would be the safe, safest bet, you know, uh, to have, to be having custody of kids, I think that would be good because of the simple fact that, you know, what these mothers are doing is like kind of crazy. Like, um, let's uh, go into some stuff and then I'm going to go into the meat of the video of the commentary. Um, just give me a second. Um, okay, here we go. So I'm going to read this and then uh, we're going to get into this, you know. So um, a DC mother uh, threw away her if his son, right? And, you know, she was stabbed to death by the father of the son. Now, while I'm not suggesting the response, his response, I'm not in any way condoning violence. I'm not in any way saying, shape or form, saying that he should have did what he did. You know what I mean? But at the same time with her, you play stupid, you, you play stupid games, then you're going to be bound to win stupid prizes. So my thing is, if she didn't even want the kid, why not just say, hey, you know what? Um... It's, you know what, it's too much for me, you know, it's, it's too much, um, it, it's too much for me to, like, this kid is too much for me, you know what I mean? Like, instead of, instead of, you know, throwing the kid away, and I don't know if she, um, I don't know if, uh, you know, she, I want to say, um, killed the kid while throwing them away. But, you know, uh, it, it's still not a good look. You know what I mean? It's still not a good look at all. Um, so now we look at something that happened um, recently, and this is actually a mother 
uh, encouraging her kids to do something that's not honorable and just goes to show you how much this society has decayed and how much it it is um you know what i mean how how far it has um been set back but when you really think about it western culture has not really ever been moral you know what i mean i mean it started off in a bad way but it just got worse and worse over time you know but let's see So that's the mom with the kids. And again, this shows you no disrespect. You know, this is going to sound very disrespectful, but um, it just goes to show you that, like, again, most um, most Western women, and especially most Belegio women are um, obese or overweight, you know. And the ones who aren't and look after themselves are like, public enemy number one you know because they look after their body as a matter of fact those who look after their body um they're actually uh called pick me some of the time because of it but as you see you know majority of women are obese and they don't want to change that um they don't want to change that factor that they're ob obese you know, for some reason, they don't want to change it. So let's continue on. So mind you, the woman, the, the girl um, already has a purse, which means she probably took what well, she probably took another purse from an unsuspecting person. Um, but the fact that the mom is like maybe pretending to be on the phone um is kind of messed up you know it's kind of messed up that she would do like something like that you know uh it really is uh but let's just see how it plays out And if it would have played out in a different way, uh, that woman would have had every right to uh, do uh, do what she possibly could have did. You know what I mean? And the messed up thing about it is she has the kids there watching to like, like be like, okay, this is what you're gonna do. You know what I mean? Um, this is how you have to do it. So she unfortunately has the kids there taking lessons from her, um, actually taking lessons in doing what she should not, what they shouldn't be doing. And now imagine if this elevates, I think there's a little boy there. So imagine if he decides that, okay, I want to up the ante a little bit later on and I want to strong arm people now, you know, imagine if he decided that uh, that was the way to go, you know, because the, the, um, the blueprint has already been set uh, because of what the mom is teaching them, you know. And she just walks away casually. Now, um, that's why I say that sometimes it's best to have the father be in custody. You know, um, even though my father was hard on me and stuff like that, 
And I used to sometimes go to my mom's. My mom mostly used to say, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. And I, I kind of like, I can kind of appreciate that, you know. In one way, it made me kind of like, I guess you can say like savage, you know. Um, but in another way, it kind of made me like, it kind of made me be able to tiptoe over the pitfalls that come with living in this society, you know. But let's, um, let's go ahead and look more into, um, like how these women think or 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 how should I say lack of thinking Let's see okay let's see here we go have you seen this before it's guitar hero meets boxing wait What's like? Um, why do average people think average, um, they and average people are settling for less? Wait, say that again? Because <laughs> I think this less. Why do average people think dating average people is settling for less? Oh, because nobody wanna. I can see niggas. Yeah. Nobody wanna nigga that works not to fall. Like, whoa, 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 like whoa, it's not whoa, giving whoa, that. Whoa, like, whoa. So. The thing is, is like when we say nine to five, like a different person's a a, a nine to five can be different from like different, like different perspectives. Like you can have someone who works a nine to five who's an engineer. You know what I mean? You can have a person who works a nine to five who's a. um, Let's see. Like a car designer. You know, like he actually takes place in designing a car, you know. Um, So you can have different layers of a nine to five. A nine to five doesn't, it's not necessarily limited to, um, whatchamacallit, it's not necessarily just limited to uh i want to say um like a nine to five at a fast food place at a retail place it's not limited to that you can have different you can have a different type of nine to five you know but apparently that's not good enough probably because it's too boring to them So she says she wants a scammer, but she says she also wants to do to to work who works. So this just goes to show you how warped and how crazy these females' personalities are and their minds are. So, as a man, you should not try to impress a woman under any circumstance. Like, especially a Western woman. You shouldn't try to impress them. You know, I honestly, at this point, I don't know how what your belief system is, but you should just be trying to, like, grow... Um, as you know as a um i guess you can say grow as a um as an individual you know uh nipsey has some lyrics that pretty much could and you know again if you listen to nipsey you're you're um you're listening to you know you're listening to like someone who's giving you game you know he's like check off check up um check out all of these games in my verses you know what i mean 
Uh, so that's the thing about it. Um, I'm going to try to find the lyrics, you know. Let me try to find the lyrics. Let me try to find them real quick. Real quick. Okay. Okay, let me see. So, um, in this song, you know, let's kind of do some visualization and let's try to put some things into place in this song. Um, he said, um, just trying to get over, trying not to get swallowed by locusts. So, you know, just consider these female locusts. Okay, you have to look at him as locusts, trying to stay focused, kind of like Moses, and so, like someone, like somebody chose this, like this weight on my shoulders. I feel these emotions, but still I keep going. So, um, you know, in in these verses, just look at it as yourself. We'll never be as good as Moses, as as we call him Musa alayhi salam. We'll never be as good as Musa alayhi salam, but you know, um, Musa had to stay focused on his mission and his mission was completed, you know, by his focus and by reliance on the most high, of course. But um, that's what you need to do is just stay focused, stay focused on your objectives, whatever they may be. And hopefully you have some good objectives that will, you know, set you up and make your in in take care of those who matter around you you know but don't focus on locusts because the locusts may make may um make you get stung by the police or something worse no word drug dealer like yeah no 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 drug dealer no uh, nigga that's scared like he is outside and getting bread and come back with the bleach you want a nigga that's stealing other niggas money that's what you're saying yeah <laughs> so she's actually like in essence like when you look at it she's actually kind of like incriminating herself in a way you know um but this is what happens when you let a woman lead especially when you let a modern woman lead this is what happens you know and i'm gonna tell you something and you know, now that Ramadan is pretty much over, but inshallah, I'm going to try to continue the energy which Ramadan brought me um, with my disposition and things. Uh, I will say this, though. If, you know, I'm quiet, chill and stuff like that. But if someone tries to if someone tries to rob me and a girl actually set the hit up to try to get me best believe i'm gonna be on my dash loaf let a nigga try me stuff and then it's also gonna be dash loaf remix let a sister try me because they'll get it too i'm just gonna be honest and I, and as a african and especially as a muslim i'm in within all of my rights to do it too so again as i said play uh stupid games with me and you're definitely gonna win stupid prizes just as a disclaimer so i'm like damn like so why you can't help a drug dealer nigga then no i'm not doing that they both going to jail for the same amount of time like, 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 yeah but it's better like drugs not dealing with that so why you can't fuck with a nine to five because i don't want no nigga that work at burger king come to, fast come to the mic come to the mic i don't want no nigga that work at fast food restaurants applebee's mm. there's so other jobs so in essence, she doesn't want maybe a dude who's just starting out, you know, because there could be a guy who's like trying to pay his way through school or doing something like that to like leverage a little bit of more money. And, you know, he could be working like at a Burger King, at an Applebee's or something like that. And, you know, the reason why he doesn't, he, he chooses to work at Burger King or Applebee's is because he does not want to rely on the state 
for um, income. You know what I mean? He wants to do it him, himself, right? So uh, that's not good enough for her, unfortunately. You know? Now, I don't know how old she is, but it's still not good enough, basically. You know? Well, let's continue. Um, now I feel like I said, I mean, it's probably doing it because I didn't know what 9 to 5 was. So what is it, that's a feeling about this camera, that's all. Like, dress nice, got money, and we can go anywhere, go to Rupert, we can go anywhere, Capital Grill, Capital Grill, is he gonna be tight on the bread when I get paid? So, and, the, and that's the funny thing about it, too. Um, that's what, that seems to be, as I said before, like females, they'll worship Birkin bags and they'll worship things like that. And that seems to be like the, the request for most of these women is to go to the root, Chris. And it's like, woman, like what have you done to deserve to even go to the root, Chris? That's the thing, like, have you even earned that? Like, what have you really done to go to the roof, Chris. Like, that's the thing. So, I don't know why <laughs> she is talking in this way. You know, it's like, what are you gonna, what are you gonna really bring to the table that, that will, like, you know what I mean? That actually suggests that you deserve the roof, Chris. You know, like, really. Some people but, but, get paid every week, though. Um, <laughs> but you know, what? Some people know yo, how to save. Yeah. <laughs> yo, yo. I don't even know what to say right now. <laughs> like, you know, I'm speechless. <laughs> yo, what you gonna say, Ju? I'm just saying, like, you know, a man that earned his money, you know what I'm saying? Like, he earned you know the right way. Yeah, and you could get much yeah. further. Like, once that, so once that dude get locked up, exactly. what, 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 what is on to you the gonna next say, one? You gonna stay with him? Um, I'm gonna, you, I'm you hold gonna, him down. I'm, no, I'm gonna take his money and then. Uh, what money? Yeah. The feds is taking that money when he go to jail. Well, then he's a go. So yeah. what are you gonna do though? I'm gonna continue myself. Myself, find another camera. But you just say you help me, so you going to jail too. So, in essence, like she doesn't mind like actually like doing this. You know what I mean? And I'm not sure if she's trolling, but I'm pretty sure she's serious. You know, I'm pretty sure. Unfortunately, she's serious. But um, again, this just shows you like how humans are you know human beings are human nature with these people it's it's crazy but yeah man it's very crazy but you know this is this is how it goes man i don't want a nigga that's like oh i got i gotta i can't go here this week because i no. Cause no. I gotta work. If I wanna go to Benny Hanna's with Chris tomorrow, we're going. That's it. I mean, just like when that car stops swiping, right? Like mm -hmm. he goes to the next car. That's yeah. how he gonna treat you, though. Yeah. Like if once his piece you, is you not spindle. hitting, then your pieces ain't hitting either. Like. Mm. So I mean, don't get me wrong. You do got some Pookie and Ray Ray's who get it. You know, who do get it. Like I knew quite a few Pookie and Ray Ray's who had Skrilla. Okay, I'm not gonna even cap. But. She's looking for a Pookie and Ray Ray with Skrilla that's going to commit to her only, and that's not going to happen. You know what I mean? He's going to have options. You know, if you're really doing things like this on a high level, like illegal activities, then you're this woman, especially her, because at best she's like a four. She's going to be like maybe four fiddle to um to his options but well, let's continue mm, mm, i don't got no comment <laughs> <laughs> yo i right, thought so about you why, why do why do average people think they and average people are settling okay so i'm gonna go back to what she said okay so i'm following a nigga that's working nine to five and you can scam as well um scam a nigga scamming they do a little she said so basically she Basically, she just wants your paycheck or your illegal funds, no matter. Like, so she's okay with both. Do you see how, like, masculine these women are? Again, it's like, 
it's not attractive, bro. It really is not. I'm sorry. It's really not. I'm not going to even lie. I know this is going to sound crazy. But if I was on that type of time right now, bro, and I had a choice between, like, uh, making some knuckle babies or dealing with them, I would choose option number one. I'm just going to be honest with you. Too much for me. They be trying to flex on money. You're doing it the bad way. Because you're doing it the right way. Not to worry about if you're going to jail or not. Um, I feel like a nigga could save up. Some people know how to you know, manage their money. Right. But a scam up for me, I got bread. So it's like, it's going to come. For me, we don't got to worry about it. I'm not, I'm saying, but y'all yeah. thinking about today, but y'all not thinking about tomorrow. You feel me? I mean, but if we do, if, but a nigga could do a nine to five and do a scam and rec you feel me? Like, so you want him to do I, both? Is he, yeah, I mean, I don't really mind. I don't care. But I, I don't, is both. Yeah, okay. but I'd rather nigga go nine to five. Oh, no, nine to five. Oh, okay. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> my, my thing is, again, you know, most women, they, they're, they, most women, they don't think before they talk, unfortunately. They just talk. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, Most belegial women, too, do that. I'm just going to be real. And for those who have offense to the word belegio, all it, it as I said before, it just means black person, okay? And the reason why I differentiate between it it's because of the simple fact that if I were to say, like, a black person, like, for example, a black person from the Caribbean or a black person from Africa or a black person from Latin America, okay, you wouldn't know they were from there if I just said black. I say Belegio and Tubac for white people here in America to know that the I'm talking about people from america i'm not talking about others i don't understand why average like for example she said nine to five nigga whether you work in fedex ups mcdonald's wherever the fuck he working she not gonna be fucking with him because he not scamming like you know what i'm saying so why is that looked at why is that frowned upon in this generation like that's like you just pick up, go do what you want, go here, go here, go to Dubai, go here. Now we're not a So you just care about what he could. So, I mean, I guess she doesn't know that Dubai comes with conditions. But that's another video for another mm -hmm. time. For you. Of course. You're not spending your bag. What are you doing? So, so what are you doing for them? A lot. 50-50. Everything 50-50. You ain't spending no money. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Man, what is your 50? All right, what is your 50? All right, so first of all, I'm getting him pieces. What you going to IG or posting? Nah, this woman would be nothing. She's not going to be peace at all. She's going to be the opposite of, so. The story, like, who yes, got chased? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, who got chased? How you saying y'all going 50-50 and that mm. nigga 50 ain't even his bread either? But... I had a call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, shout out to the scammers, you know what I mean? I know. Yeah, yeah, shout out to y'all. If y'all want to send us some money, we, we, we take that too. You All know right, for them niggas taking but, your uh, money, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but um, in terms of why average people don't like being average people, is because nobody wants to be average or feel like feel like they're average. You feel me? Like everybody want to feel like they they different from the crowd. So once you once you date an average person, I feel like it reflects upon you. You feel me? So it's like, oh, I'm dating an average person. I must be average too. And I feel like that's why people, like, they try to aim higher than what they are. Is I feel like, like you're being nice. Because mm -hmm. I feel like most men don't care if he's dating an average female. Mm -hmm. I feel like females... To a certain extent, yes. And no. If... The average female, since we really don't care about her money, because the money is going to obviously be her money most of the time. But if the average female is traditional, submissive, and we can like possibly enhance her life 
while she enhances our life, then we got something. But if it's just one of these average women who's just going to nag, who's just going to do what these two are doing on this platform, then yes, we're going to pass and we're, we're, we're going to care. They might be stank about this, but that is true. you know what I mean? Females mm. want to always have a nigga on the bread. Yeah. Yeah. That's mm. above they, average. Yeah. yeah that's mm. above at all. That's better than them. So they can see what they can mm -hmm. get out of it. That's true. A dude could, you know, Get a shorty that's working nine to five. She just don't gotta have a job. I was about to say that. You know, know what I'm saying? As long as you're taking care of yourself, a dude is kind of mm -hmm. satisfied. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is true. 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 That is very yeah, true. That's, that's a fact, though. Um, shit. I was gonna say what Keen was gonna say, but then Juice had made a good point. Yeah, he did well. make a good point. I just, I just think people are not satisfied, and I think it's. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, like Juice said, I think it's mostly on a women's end. Women are not satisfied with average dudes. Like, it just don't do it for them. But they. What? And. Keep in mind the women that aren't satisfied are those who, like, nine times out of ten, Pookie and Ray Ray did not have to pay for, you know. But let's now I want to show you too that it's not just Belegio women, that it's all across the board in America, be it Tubac women, being Latin women, be it your linglings. It's all across the board so just if you are sincere in your intentions with what you want in a woman i would suggest you do like the title and get out i would show you my passports um you know what i mean but uh, i don't want to want to show off you know Talk. Those ladies, uh, would you rather a man with a nine to five or a scammer, a hustler? Hi. Tick tock, tick tock. Mm. Keep in mind, all these women across the board sound masculine mm -hmm. as well. Just keep that in mind. I just want you guys to know that as a heads up. I'm talking about fast access cash. He's swiping. You got whatever you want. But that man that's working nine to five. I'll take the nine to five. Personally, I don't. Uh, I, don't know. That's that's a, I didn't know that was an option. Yeah, right. that's an option. Like, but if we're choosing between, I've been that's with both. That's easy. That's easy. You got to pick one. I've been with both, so I can't really say. Like, you got to pick one or the other. And which and which was better to you? If you had to pick one, that. Better for you. Depends what the nine of five is making. I mean, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I feel like it's, it's, she wants the scam. Moving on. Yeah. What you going with? Like, I don't even know because I was in that situation like not that long ago. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, like, yeah. He's on that other yeah, end. So A lot of these women are like, okay, I don't know how to say it, but. This month of Ramadan, yeah. And I really never was, like, I really never really was into them, you know. But I guess you can say this month of Ramadan because that's another video in itself, you know. That's, that's a whole different video in itself because, honestly, abstaining from food and drink like that's that's the farthest thing from my mind most of the time because the deeper meaning of it ah man this is another video in itself and maybe if you leave down in the comment section if you want that video i'll drop it but the deeper meaning is to really activate your mind's eye that's the real intention of ramadan is to really activate your mind's eye in such a way that you see things, you don't see things for what they are on the surface level. You see things for what they are on a, I guess you can say, on all types of level. 
And when you see these women, you're just going to basically not be attracted to them. Trust me. Hey, girls. <laughs> We're so smart, but girls. <laughs> <laughs> Should I get some? Logically, yeah. I want to say, like, you know, that 9 to 5, you know, stable. I know your schedule. But at the same time, like, I really like that person. It doesn't matter what you do. Yeah. Yeah, we don't really care. Sound like they making room for the scammers. Yeah, yeah. We made room <laughs> So, in essence, they are saying they've been with dudes like that. And this is how a lot of dudes get killed, too, bro. This is how a lot of dudes get killed. I'm telling you. You know, I wish they would with me, you know. Uh, they actually... Jay-Z actually has some good lyrics. You know, shout out to Jay-Z. Believe it or not, Jay Z, if I had to put put like top top rappers, top top five rappers, dead or alive, um, you know, uh, Jay Z would be in the top five. And um, one line comes to mind. Uh, it was on an MOP song. Uh, Jay Z said, uh, "Jay Z said, um, I ain't no different from any nigga in the hood whose attitude is I wish a nigga would. And I still have that attitude, you know. Like even like even the today, there was this one goofy gumpo looking fool who looked like a a a, a tortoise, you know. What I mean, let me let me watch what I'm saying, you know." Got to keep the Ramadan energy up, um, even if, you know, the month is pretty much done. But anyhow, um, you know, there was this goofy looking tortoise dude uh, and I wasn't even looking at him, but he he looked at me. And then I gave him a look like, you know, like I wish you would, bro. You know, I wish you would. Because, again, he I, I could tell right off the back, he's one of those type of dudes who will uh, do anything to impress a, impress a woman. Anybody off limits or y'all y'all want the whole the whole basket? Everybody in here. Not the whole basket, but <laughs> but but they tell you yeah, we don't mind. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Which one do I want? <laughs> <laughs> We're open to anything. Okay. I'm open. Taste the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Holy shit, that's good. We got yeah. a Skittles. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, Skittles be looking for a sponsor too. <laughs> 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 do, you, do you think there's a stigma of people that date outside their race? Like, do you think their families are accepting of it? Like, would your family be accepting of it, or would they prefer you to date within your ethnicity? I think my family would be fine as long as I'm happy at the end of the day. Yeah, I feel like I the standards would. Yeah. They don't. Uh, I can't. Mm, it depends. I don't know about it that one. I mean, I mean, I, I know like most parents are like, they speak Spanish. They must be Spanish, but they don't really care. My I family is more it. like, they say like, oh, I want you to bring home an Asian boy, but at the same time, like, they don't really care as long as I'm happy. I'd hope. Yeah, but I wouldn't bring them home to my parents anyway, or like my immediate family. I wouldn't bring them. You know, because with me, it would be different. This is the thing. I can't just like, I don't have the like privilege of just like, for example, let's say, say hypothetically speaking, I meet a woman, right? I say, I'm going to, this is the woman I want, right? But like, let's hypothetically speak, and it's a Western woman, right? I'm going to have to go to, I'm going to have to go back to Africa and tell them 
and bring her there and say, hey, you know, this is who I'm going to be with. I can't just like show like, for example, just like go go to New York or something and be like and fly with that per that person and be like, hey, this is what um this is who I'm going to be with. It's not going to work like that. So if I bring home bring home one of these Western degenerate women back to my place, what what do you think my family is going to say to me? Are they going to kick me out of uh, like possibly like not even accept me anymore? Sometimes your family has insight that you don't have. And their insight is don't you bring a Belegio woman? Don't you bring a Tuvok woman? Don't you bring any Westernized woman, period. And so I understand why they're saying that. But with that being said, I digress. Fool is signing out. Njarama.